to record. Hi guys, another order unboxing for you today. This time it is the Dunkeldorf Prancing Peacock Kickstarter. Rawr. Scruffy Crow. <laughs> All right, that's a pretty quick video. I'm just gonna show you what's in my box. Uh, we start off with some promotional stuff. We've got some stickers. Got one of the new Prancing Peacock ones. And a couple more like the one that's already stuck to my uh, uh, transfers tin. We've got some postcards here. And um, this one I believe is gonna be the next Kickstarter coming in the spring of 2021. Uh, the Kingpin of Dun Dunkeldorf. Uh, I'm assuming looking at the sort of criminal underbelly of the city. So that should be quite interesting. Uh, and this is the same on that side, uh, but looks to be one of the characters, Sven's Bitter. Uh, some sort of brewer, I guess. Could be pretty cool. Absolutely loving the, uh, the artwork for these. And we've got a flyer for King Games, um, who are the people who retail all the Dunkle Dust stuff. What I quite liked about this is there's a little uh, Tamiya section down here uh, with an advert for my favourite little hobby product. Um, and there we've got some Dunkledorf minis from the from the first Kickstarter, I think all of those are. Next big thing is, this is pretty cool actually, this is something I'd hope they did and then I did add it. It is a map of the Prancing Peacock itself uh, with all the floor plan little key to what everything is. Uh, I'm sure that'd be more useful to someone who's into their sort of D&D &D and wanted a little location. Um, but actually I find it quite interesting myself. And I might even have a, have a pop-up building this at some point. Either way, that'll get framed up when the new room's ready. Okay, another little piece that I added on uh, was this meat rack. Uh, I'm actually gonna build a little butcher's shop uh, for the dwarf butcher from the first Kickstarter. Um, so I think that'll be quite handy to that. So, put that aside. Um, and then we're going to look at these benches. Now I didn't go much in there, there was quite a lot of terrain available uh, for furnishing the inside of your pub and this Kickstarter. And I didn't look at a lot of it um, because I've got quite a bit of that stuff already and I haven't got a lot of use for it either. But the benches are going to be handy and you'll see why in a second. I accidentally get two chickens. I don't know if that's a mistake or if I bought an extra one or or what, but I'm sure I'll find use for the uh, the second one. If I remember correctly, this is Isold, the one-legged, peg-legged guard chicken. That's a cool little model. Then we've got another drunk from a tavern. That's quite cool. So this is one of the miniatures I saw being sculpted live as part of the run-up to the Kickstarter. Uh, which is quite interesting. And for 3D sculpted miniatures, I think these have come out really, really nicely. I think I'd be hard pressed to tell they were 3D sculpted looking at them in person like this. I don't think all of them are. I think for instance, this one looks like it's been traditionally sculpted. Uh, there is a bit of a change in style. But yeah, this is a sort of peddler. So he's got his goods on his back, offering some dodgy watches and such. Oh, this guy's pretty cool. Uh, we've got an old sea captain holding up a shell to his ear. I love that. And here is why I found it thought it important for me to grab some benches. We've got quite a few sort of pub patrons sitting down. It's not something I've ever had in a mini before, so I wanted to make sure I had something for them to sit on. This is a sort of hippie. Hedgewitch style model. She looks very happy. She fits on that bench very nicely. I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to base these. Here we have a, a Lone Ranger type model. Just quietly sitting in the back of the tavern. And once again, he fits on the bench perfectly. Got another seated model here, Scribe. Now he could do with a table as well. Uh, I should have thought that through, but scroll can hover for now. I think a table again might be required for the full pose of this lady. I think I might be able to get away with a barrel or a chest or something. She is awesome. Have myself a good bard. 
and yet another seated girl. Uh, maybe a, a bit of a lady of the night. This is an absolutely stunning sculpt. I didn't really appreciate this one from the photos, but yep. Yeah, it's real nice. And the last seated character is actually in a few more pieces here. Um, so I'll make sure to put him back in his bag properly. Got a little halfling. I believe this is the uh, propri proprietor's idiot cousin. Uh, he's got himself a little mug of ale. And I shouldn't have too much trouble gluing that in. Um, and I believe he doesn't sit on his bench very well. Oh, he does. But maybe once the uh, the mug's on there, he won't balance as well. Which is why they've included a little footstool for him. So as I said, yeah, I think they're all the seated miniatures. And I'm not sure how I'm going to go about basing and painting them. Shouldn't be too hard for the, the bard. I can put something under there. Um, but for the the seated guys, I might just give them the, their own individual stools or just try and paint them up separately and pose them as an, as I want. Uh, we've got a, another peacock. I got given one of these as a bit of a preview, uh, but another one is always cool. Uh, more peacocks on the grounds. Uh, we have what every pub needs, a barman and an elvish pub chef. I've also got a, a bit of a guard dog here with a little shield. Uh, I believe he was meant to come with a bratty kid, but maybe I forgot to add him to my uh, pledge. But either way, that is a lovely sculpt of a sort of large dog. If we look at him next to one of the regular size patrons, you can see, yeah, a very large, a great Dane type dog. Cool. Now uh, we also have a rich merchant type. Some money bags there. Looks like it'd be a lot of fun to paint. Uh, an old boatman to go with my pirate captain. And I'm a merchant, this time I'm selling hats quite enthusiastically. It's another one I saw being sculpted on Twitch. It's quite interesting seeing the, the process. <laughs> we do have one more seated miniature, but this time no bench required because he has decided to go to sleep on the floor. I love the fact there's even an included little beer spill. So that's pretty cool. Um, we have a angry doomsday preacher. Looks like he'd fit in really well in a game of Mordheim. Well, they all would really, but he looks like he'd quite a lot of fun to paint as well. We have a gentleman of questionable morals and potentially some socks down his pants. I can never have a halfling, a little halfling female, halfling ranger, a little bow. She actually might get roped into my uh, Rangers of Shadow Deep crew potentially, uh, rather than staying with the rest of the townsfolk. And the last member of the townsfolk is this sculpt. Now the concept art interested me, but not, didn't really stand out too much. But when I actually saw the first images of this, I just absolutely fell in love with it. There's something about this design. I really like the way this is designed. It's possibly a little easier to tell that it's been uh, 3D sculpted. Uh, but honestly, I don't care. This is just a really nice miniature. I just really like the lines and the shapes. I don't know. This is the winner for me, which is why I left it till pretty much last. And I really cannot wait to get some paint on her. But I have to go back in the bag for now. And the last thing in my box is a little pile of stuff. So we've got some bottles. Some cheese. Some soup, some more mugs, some fruit, a little cauldron, little bottles again, a big old candle, smaller candle, more bottles, a little vase, more mugs. Now look at this, look at that. Have you ever seen a metal casting so cute and so perfect? That's pretty cool. That'll be very interesting to scatter around some of my builds when I start doing that sort of stuff. So sadly, 
uh, that's all I can really do for this video uh, because I don't have the time or space to even get these guys based, never mind painted at the moment. Uh, they're going to have to wait until the new year once I'm all settled in my new place. But I'm still really happy I've got a hold of these guys. Uh, really pleased with the way these have come out. But I was a little bit sceptical about 3D printed miniatures, or 3D sculpted miniatures I should say. But as I was watching the sculpting process, I mean, uh, absolute magic how uh, this turned from a few polygons to something like this. Um, but yeah, just seeing them in the flesh, worthwhile. Potentially even changing my view on uh, uh, 3D sculpted miniatures a little bit. I still prefer it than the old way. Um, but no, these are definitely nice. So let me know what you think to uh, the Dunkledorf miniatures. I'll stick some links if you want to pick some up for yourself down in the comments. Remember to drop a like on the video and share if you think anyone else would like some, uh, some townsfolk. Uh, for whatever purposes. And as ever, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.